Ivan Cleary's in the media saying that uh, while he's sick of losing players at Penrith, produced to other teams and want some compensation. Now, I've seen a lot of feedback on this all at negative because, let's face it, it's, it's a statement that is crazy. It's ridiculous and it's just outright outlandish. But it's got a point. Half the Bulldogs side is, is Penrith Juniors or Penrith come through the Penrith system at some point. Uh, half the West Tigers, when they add a couple more next year, it's there's a fair few Penrith players. But if you look through, there's just as many Cronulla players that have played at Cronulla and gone elsewhere. Sorensen being one and Kate Ball won a premiership with them too. So what's good for the Goose? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean the whole the whole thing though is like when you become a premiership team, you get pillaged. Hmm. That's just it's as simple as that. You will get pillaged. Um, the the only reason why it looks so poor for Penrith and why Penrith are crying poor is because there's so many players, and it's and it's because these players that come through the juniors and they take the rookie scale deals and they break into first grade on the second year of a four-year deal and they're not being paid and they might get a little upgrade here or there or a bonus here or there. But when they hit the open market, these clubs can turn around and go, we need a centre. He's paid 200 grand. We can we can pay him X amount of dollars. And I get it. It's a salary cap league, right? And there's it's not like the NBA where there's hard caps and soft caps and luxury taxes and marquee money and all this kind of stuff. It's a straight up... Here's your salary cap. Here's how much you can spend. It's on the players to go and get third-party deals to keep themselves happy here. You can't have anything to do with it. That's why it looks so bad for Penrith. Ivan Cleary wants compensation. Brother, you've got three NRL Premiership rings. You're going to have another three before the decade closes. It's a good problem to have. I, I just, again, though, you look and they, you know, kick out was a Cowboys junior. Yep, and he had a huge part to play. So uh, that's just one player, I know. But like, come on, Ivan. It just it just seems that Penrith need to be behind the eight ball in their own minds to get that kick. Or I say they're not happy unless they're unhappy. Like they need that that victim mentality, which is hard to get when you're defending back to back to back premiers. So I think he's creating a us against the world thing. Like, look what they're doing, boys. Let's go get him. And their Penrith players are like. Yeah, you're right. Even though he's not right in any way, shape, or form, I, I think it's just a, it's just a tactic. He was probably bored. He's probably like, look, we need, we get, we've got Origin coming up. We're going to lose eleven players. Let's stir him up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's it's harmless. I, but you said it, mate. You want compensation? Well, you got three trophies. There's your compensation.